It is now time to create our first component. Under the resources assets JS, let's create a new directory for our source files. So S R C. Within this directory, we're going to create another one for components. So components. And within this one, we are going to create one specifically for our form component. So it's going to be called a form. And our first component will be wrapper for the form. So I'm just going to create a new file wrapper.view. And within this file, what I'm going to do is start with script tags. And inside of these script tags, I'm going to start with export default. And we create object literal here. And we start with the props. What sort of properties we will require for this component? The first property will be called group. The group property will represent the identity associated with all form elements things like inputs, buttons, which may be within as well as outside of the form wrapper. This specific property will be of the type string and it will be required. So required set to true. The next property will be behavior. Behavior will represent the action which will be triggered after we've received a successful response from the server. So what should happen with the form once the form has been successfully submitted and the response has been received back from the server. So behavior and this behavior will be of the type string as well. And it will not be required. So I'm going to set it required false. Next, let's create a data method, which will return an object. And here we will have fields which will contain the collection of all of the form inputs. By default, we will set it to an empty object. And the next one will be validation back. This one will also be an empty object by default, and it will contain all validation rules for our form fields. Now let's create template tags right above our script tags. Template, we're going to start with the form which will have no validate attribute associated with it because we don't want default browser validation to kick in. We want to use only our own JavaScript based validation. And within this form, we are going to create a slot and we'll associate a few attributes with it by passing them into the slot. We start with the group. We want to pass this property group to the slot. We start with a colon group and group. Then we are going to pass through our fields from the data object. So fields starting with the colon as well fields. And lastly, we're going to pass validation using our validation back. So all these three elements are now dynamically pass through to the slot, meaning that from within this slot, we will be able to access these properties, so it's a property group, and then obviously, our data fields and validation back. By using these columns, obviously, we were able to dynamically associate these properties and data with these attributes. That means that they will also reactively change within this slot when the changes will be applied from within the component. Okay, so that's our slot. Let's now register this component within our components.js. We are going to start with view component and this one will call form wrapper and now require we go to from the current directory to source then components form and wrapper and we don't need the dot view extension laravel mix will automatically figure that now one of the things that has changed recently is how we actually import in modules so when we are registering component from now on, we will have to use dot default to actually call if we open our wrapper, you see we export in default object here. Now in order to import it before it wasn't necessary. Now you have to use dot default. So every time I'm registering a component with within any of these videos, please make sure they append this dot default where I haven't done it. Now the newer videos will have it already, but there are many videos that has uh, have already been recorded. And obviously, I haven't done this because I was using the previous version of the packages. Now let's open package.json and have a look at the scripts we have available here. 
we will be using either def or watch and when we compile for production we just use npm run production so what we want to do now is go to our terminal and run npm run def for now and everything has compiled let's now go back to our editor i'm going to close this package to json have a look at what we have if we open our public js you can see we have this app.js we also have app.js map as well as our css directory with app.css and its map and editor.css with its own map so now that we've compiled our view component together with all other assets we can open our views let's open main index.blade and now what we can do is to add our form wrapper so form wrapper and within this form wrapper we are going to create div with slot scope equals props and now within this div we will be able to use props and call any of these properties that we pass through so for instance props dot group props dot fields props dot validation to access contents of all these properties okay form wrapper obviously requires a few attributes so let's add them we have group and we have behavior group is required behavior is not so let's start with the group group is a string so we don't need the colon at the beginning and i'm going to give it a name of update hyphen form and the next thing i want to add is v hyphen cloak this will ensure that the component doesn't show anything in the browser until it's actually fully loaded okay so now that we have it all let's just save this file and preview everything in the browser if we open our developer tools so more tools and developer tools in google chrome then expand our app container grid container and there we go our form with no validate attribute and an empty div which is representing if we go back to our editor this div with a slot scope obviously we haven't got anything inside that's why there's nothing else but as you can see our component is now rendering in a browser if we open our view console you'll see we have our form wrapper with our behavior which we haven't defined we have a group which is update form fields which is an empty object as well as validation back also an empty object at the moment